this is a spot where the water can get 32 degrees or lower without freezing over because the current is so strong that it can't freeze. No turning back! You're probably wondering how I ended up half naked on top of a snowy mountain trying to impersonate the Ice King from Adventure Time. Before I explain that to you guys, I gotta take you all the way back to the beginning. No, 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 what? Not that no, clip, you shit. idiot. Can you do anything right? I'm sorry, I ju it just happened on its own. I have no idea. I... Get rid of her. Just cut to the informational segment, you idiot. Video. Yes, sir, no problem. Ice baths are said to have numerous benefits. Many celebrities and internet personalities advocate for these baths. Cold shower a day keeps the doctor away. There's some extreme benefit to heavy duty cold exposure. You are becoming more resilient. You're becoming grittier. They supposedly help reduce inflammation, relieve sore muscles, aid exercise recovery, lower core body temperature, support immunity, boost testosterone, and improve mental health. I wanted to find out for myself if I could reap one or more of these benefits, so I dedicated 30 days to taking ice baths. Woo! All right, y'all. Behind me, nice big bin that I bought from Target. Filled with water, 16 pound bag of ice. Cheers to day one. I'm not looking forward to this. That's why I have to do it. Let's get it. Initially, getting inside the ice bath was extremely painful. Oh! Ah! You're scared of ice. What are you gonna do? 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 Three, two, one. Got a blast. Ah, 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 yeah. Ow. Ow. Why is my back cramping? Ah. Ah. My back's cramping. Breathe. Ow. The more you move, what do you want to kill it? Just literally be like frozen and freeze. Freeze. Well, after about a minute of sitting in that water, something insane happened. The pain literally disappeared. What the fudge? After that initial pain point, it just becomes nice. I almost don't want to get out now, but I'm gonna for the sake of this video. Ice baths in the winter, who does that? Subscribe for that. I'm not getting out until you click to subscribe. We bent the container already. It was at this point that I realized this was gonna be a long 30 days. What's up guys? Day two and I have to control my screaming this time because my mom's asleep. I know it had only been one day at this point, but it had already gotten significantly easier to get in that water. This is why you bulk, by the way, guys. Everyone's trying to stay shredded. Screw that. Day three. There was a specific method I was using to help me get in the water that made it a lot easier. This method is all about breath control. Basically, I inhaled and took an extremely deep breath into my diaphragm, and on my descent into the water, I exhaled slowly and released my air as I went into the water. And it's funny, I actually stole this technique from a well-known anime, one of my favorites, known as Demon Slayer. Day four. As the days went on, the ice baths started to become much easier, more peaceful, and I was actually starting to look forward to them. Day five. This is starting to become quite the experience. Very blissful, you know what I mean? You know we have to get rid of this piece of crap bin. Yeah, that's a piece of crap bin. That's right. 55 gallons, huh? I'm gonna just fill it up with pool water, throw ice and dump it out every time. So this is day six. Deeper. <laughs> worse than that piece of green bin. <laughs> Go deeper. So my ex told me and I had no more inches left to give. <sighs> Day seven. As the days continued, I started to really experience the mental clarity benefit from these ice baths. Every time I submerged, I was fully present in the moment, quiet, blissful, simply appreciating the moment that I was in. 
this is a huge deal for me because unfortunately I am a very big overthinker. I often think of the past and the future when I'm in the present, but it's crazy because the only time I wasn't doing that was those couple minutes I was spending in the ice bath. Day eight. The physical sting was so great that my mind literally could not trail anywhere else. Even if I tried, I was fully present in the moment. Personally, I think this was one of the most beautiful benefits that I experienced from this entire challenge. Day nine. Around day nine, for some reason, there was a specific phrase. I don't know where I got it from, but it kept popping up in my head and I kept saying it to myself over and over before getting in the water. Do not think, just do. 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 Before we do anything scary in life, we often tend to overthink. Anything that slightly intimidates us, whether it be an ice bath or approaching that cute girl at the grocery store, anything of that sort. The more we think before we do it, the more we start to talk ourselves out of doing it. That is when I started learning that in these specific situations, it's usually better to not think and literally just do. The mind is so powerful that it often stops us from doing things that should be easy to us because we create unnecessary fears. Day 10. Yeah, it gets significantly easier as the days go on, which is crazy to think about. Day 11. I'm not gonna lie, I really didn't feel like doing it today, but exactly why I had to. Day 12. As the days continued, I started to feel a lot of the other benefits of the ice baths. Day 13. One specific one is the immunity boost. I don't think it's any coincidence that around this time, during these days, everyone in my house got sick. Day 14, today we're going crazy. We got two bags of ice. Oh, I know. Every single one of my family members. On top of that, all of my friends that I regularly see also got sick, including their families. Day 15. And several influencer friends that I have on social media were posting that they were also getting really ill during this time. Day 16. Everyone and their freaking mom was getting sick, literally. Except me. Coincidence? I think not. Coincidence? I think not! Day 17, that's 1-7. There was definitely some kind of virus or illness going around. And welcome to day 18. But I honestly think that because of how frequently I was submerging in cold water, it boosted my immunity because I usually get sick around this time of year anyways. This is the first time that I didn't. And every person around me did. Day 19. 19. Not getting sick this time of the year was probably the best thing to happen to me. Day 20, two zero. I was noticing the immunity boost. I was also noticing the mental health boost. I was more stoic than ever. Day 21. And most importantly, I wasn't really stressed about things. I was starting to learn to literally just go with the flow of life. Day 22. I don't think it gets easier. I think you just get better and stronger. That's what I think it is. It's still hard. I'm not gonna cap getting in here. Every day is still hard. You still have to force yourself to do it. It's not easier. I'm just better. I'm smarter. I'm stronger. Better. I am better. Shout out Lord Jones. I think this is really the core principle of this challenge, guys. It's not about the ice baths themselves. Yes, the ice baths are great and they do have multiple benefits. But the real challenge and the real benefit is getting yourself to do something hard no matter how you feel. How did a bird inside the bin? Are you kidding me? All right, we're swimming in bird today. Nice. It's getting yourself to learn to not listen to that weak voice in your head and not flinch. If you wanna go talk to that girl in the grocery store, literally move your feet in her direction. Don't even think about it. You might end up saying something stupid, but at least you approached her and then you'll realize that was a lot less scary than you thought it was. If you wanna get in that ice bath, don't sit and stare at it. Put your feet in the freaking water and get in. Stop hesitating. If you want to take any kind of risk in your life at all, you need to learn to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. In my opinion, that is literally the best way to improve yourself as a human being. It's great to work on yourself and improve, but the key really is, as Hamza says, to do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. I think everything that we seek as humans in life, everything you want is literally on the opposite side of pain. The initial sting of getting in that ice bath and the bliss that follows shortly after is a much bigger metaphor than you might think. All right, guys, so the final day had come, day 30, and I decided it was time to step it up a notch. So I went to the closest and coldest place I could think of.
All right, guys, we're in the mountains, high up, and we're going in that water. Because this is a spot where the water can get 32 degrees or lower without freezing over because the current is so strong that it can't freeze. So we're gonna take a nice dip for day 30, 3-0, right here. There's no turning back! The last 30 days all led up to this one moment, but the amount of growth I experienced was unmatched, and the health benefits were clearly evident. Even though this challenge is now over, I definitely plan to make cold plunges and ice baths a regular part of my routine. So if you enjoyed this video, I want you to dedicate the next 30 days to going out and doing something that scares you every single day. That is the key to creating the best version of yourself. So, without further ado. This is Kim Duets. Signing out, let's create the best version of ourselves to give to the world. Peace.